Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is three different human populations have the following MN blood group frequencies. As you know there are three uh, important blood systems, one a bio blood group system, another one would be RH positive and negative factor and third would be MN blood uh, system where we have two alleles, allele M and allele N. And these two alleles can produce three genotypes. Uh, the first genotype would be MM, second would be MN, and third would be NN. Because organisms are deployed, we are deployed, and uh, these two alleles can combine in different uh, variants of the genotypes. Now we have to find uh, which populations are in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium and we have to choose. So how we are going to find and basically uh, we have to know that if population has only two alleles so all the alleles M plus all the alleles N in such population would make one or one hundred percent. And here we have all the numbers uh, in each population, if we combine them, we are going to get 1. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.6 equal to 1. And the same here and the same here. But we have to find which uh, population are in uh, hardy weinberg equilibrium. What does it mean? That means that uh, these numbers are stable and one generation after gen uh, generation uh, these numbers still would be same if uh, of course uh, these uh, groups, these populations would meet requirements of the Hardy-Weinberg uh, equilibrium uh, which is population have to be infinitely large or very large uh, there should be random mating and there shouldn't be any uh, migration or immigration which can affect uh, frequencies of uh, different alleles and some more factors that also may influence uh, frequencies of the alleles for example uh, such factor as um, mutation also can affect uh, allelic frequency so if we exclude all these factors our uh, populations have to be stable, but we have to find which one would be uh, meet requirements of Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. And for this, in order to solve this problem, let's um, define Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium where frequencies of three genotypes would equal to P squared plus 2PQ plus q squared and basically now we have to check if these numbers uh, would fit into this equation and also we have to say that all this would equal to 1 or 100 percent so for example p squared stand for the genotype which is uh, m m and 2PQ stands for the genotype M, N. And Q squared stands for the genotype which is N, N. Now let's check. For example, uh, what is the frequency of the allele M and N in population 1? So basically we have um, three genotypes here but MN is uh, heterozygous which is consist 50% of alleles M and another 50% of alleles N. So we have to add um, 0 0.1 to this group and 0 0.1 to this group. So frequency of the M allele in the population 1 would be 0 0.1 3 and frequency of the n allele would be 0 
0.7. Once again, if we add these frequencies, we are going to get 1. So let's check if uh, this uh, population meets uh, requirements of Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. So uh, if frequency uh, of the allele M is 0 0.3, then M multiplied by M, so genotype which is uh, here, homozygous for allele M would equal 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.3 and in this case we are going to get 0 0.09 so 0 0.09 and this is different from what we have here we have 0 0.2 here and let's check for example q squared which equals n multiplied by n 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.7. What we are going to get? We are going to get 0 0.49. And once again, this is very different from what we have here. So, population 1 is not in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. We also can uh, calculate frequency of the uh, heterozygous genotype M and N. Basically, we have to multiply uh, 0 0.3 0 0.3 by 0 0.7 and we have to multiply by 2 so uh, we are going to have here 0 0.21 multiplied by 2 going to be uh, 0 0.22 and uh, oh sorry uh, 42 and together uh, this is going to be uh, also 100 but uh, or 1 or 100 percent but uh, as you see all the numbers that we got once again uh, here we got 0 0.42 frequency so uh, as you see it is very different from uh, these three numbers now let's check a uh, second population. We have 0 0.64, 0 0.32, 0 0.04. So once again, uh, half of uh, 0 0.32 we have to add here, so 0 0.16. And half of this number, 0 0.16, we have to add to and alleles. And we are going to get frequency in this population as um, 0 0.8. This is going to be frequency of the allele M and 0 0.2 frequency of the N allele. Let's check if it's going to work. For example, if we know that frequency frequency of the n allele is 0 0.2 n multiplied by n or q squared in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium would be 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2 which is going to be 0 0.04 so this number is correct let's check for example this number 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.8 p squared in our formula M multiplied by M, uh, we are going to get 0 0.64. So this number also correct. And here for heterozygous genotype we have to multiply 2 by 0 0.8 and uh, multiply by 0 0.2. So we are going to have here 0 0.16 multiplied by 2 going to be 0 0.32 so all three numbers uh, as uh, predicted in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium so this population is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium which once again means that uh, if this population would randomly made in the next generation all these numbers would stay the same or would be very close to these numbers and now let's check population 
number three. So once again, what we are going to do, we are going to get 0 0.9 here, which is one half of 0 0.18 and 0 0.9. We are going to add to n alleles. So basically, we are going to have 0 0.9 frequency of the m allele plus, uh, as you see, 0 0.1 frequency of the n allele. And these two alleles in this population also would make 1 or 100 percent. So everything correct so far. Now let's check how these numbers fit in our formula. For example, um, n multiplied by itself, which is q squared, n multiplied by itself, or n squared, we have to multiple, multiply 0 0.1 by 0 0.1. What we are going to get? 0 0.01. So, uh, it is correct for q squared. Now let's check p squared, which is m multiplied by itself. So 0 0.9 multiplied by itself going to be 0 0.81. So p squared is correct according to these frequencies. And mn blood group we have to see with a frequency of 0 0.18. So basically we have to multiply 0 0.9 by 0 0.1 which is going to be 0 0.09 and we have to multiply by 2 in our formula and we are going to get 0 0.18. So as you see, um, population number 2 and 3 uh, meet requirements of the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium and going to be stable. Uh, this frequencies are going to be the same in the following generations. So, as you see, the correct answer is answer E, where, uh, which is second and third population are in Hardy-Weinberg uh, equilibrium. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.